나는 하나님이 세상을 만드신 것을 믿습니다. 나는 예수님께서 나의 죄 때문에 십자가에서 죽으시고 3일 만에 살아나신 것과 다시 오실 것을 믿습니다. 나는 성령님이 날마다 도와주실 것을 믿습니다. 하나님 사랑해요. 아멘 Hello guys! 사랑부 친구들 안녕하세요. I miss you all so much. I hope you guys are doing so good every day, every week. And at this time, I really want you guys to really open up your hearts and give your best to God to worship Him. Amen? So at this time, our sunny teacher will help us to open up our worship with a prayer. 그래서 우리 다 같이 기도서원, let us pray together. 사랑해 하나님 아버지, 오늘도 하나, 예배 드리게 하심에 감사합니다. 우리에게 영생의 선물을 주신 것도 감사하고, 건강 주신 것도 감사하고, 아프고 피곤할 때 용기와 소망을 주시고, 우리를 지켜주셔서 큰 사고 없이 지내게 해주심에 감사합니다. 하나님, 지금 이 시대의 세상을 살아가는 일이 많이 힘이 듭니다. 크고 작은 일부터 많은 고민들이 있습니다. 이 모든 일들을 하나님께 맡기지 않고 온전히 제 자신의 힘으로만 해결하고 애쓰며 살아갈 때가 많았습니다. 하나님이 저희와 언제든지 함께 하시는 분임을 알면서도 정작 저희들은 하나님을 찾지 않고 제 힘으로만 살아가려 합니다. 이렇게 어리석은 삶을 살아가며 지쳐있는 저희들을 용서하여 주십시오. 매 순간 하나님과 함께하는 삶이 되길 기도드리고 부족한 저희를 사랑해 주시고 하나님과 함께하는 삶이 행복임을 아는 자들이 되게 해 주시옵소서. 코로나 바이러스로 인해 많은 사람들이 어려움을 느끼고 있습니다. 속히 백신과 치료제가 개발되어 바이러스가 종식되어 어려움에서 벗어나게 해 주시옵소서. 그리고 사랑부 예배가 가정에서 온라인 예배로 들어지고 있는 가운데 아이들의 예배가 멈추지 않고 믿음의 뿌리가 튼튼하게 내려질 수 있도록 부모님들과 저희들에게 더욱 힘써 자녀들과 예배의 기쁨을 함께 나누게 하여 주시옵소서. 말씀 전해주시는 전조사님께 은혜를 부어주셔서 하나님께서 전하고자 하는 말씀을 전하게 하시고 받은 말씀을 따라 살아갈 때 하나님 영광 받으시옵소서. 이 모든 말씀 살아계신 예수님 이름으로 기도드립니다. 아멘 
Thanks for tuning in. You came at the perfect time. Perfect time for what? I'm going on a road trip. But I have no idea what to pack. So guess what? I'm going to pack everything in my room. I forgot my journal. Oh, and my crayons. Do you think I'm packing too much? I don't. You know who else would know what to pack? My friend Allie. Hey, Kels. Hey, Allie. What you up to? Well, I'm getting ready to go out with my parents. How about you? Me too. I'm going on a road trip with my family. And I have zero idea what to pack. I know, right? Okay. Do you have your suitcase? My suitcase? Um, yeah, sure. Actually, I have my clothes, my guppy bears, my fruit snacks, my journal, and my stuffed animals. But I don't have my suitcase. Well, you kind of need that. What helps me when I get ready to go out on a trip is I make a list, and what's most important, I put at the very, very top. That makes so much sense. What's important should be on the top. That reminds me of a Bible story I heard at church. It's time for our Bible story. Long ago, God's people, known as the Israelites, used to live in a place called Egypt, but they were treated very poorly there. So God sent Moses to rescue the Israelites. Once they finally escaped, they had to travel for a very, very long time till a new land God promised them. Oh, like a road trip? <laughs> yes, in a way. One time during their journey, God met with Moses at the very top of a mountain called Mount Sinai. Wow. There God told Moses about how God's people should live. Like rules? Yep, rules to help them live right. The first rule or commandment God gave Moses was to not have other gods before the one true God. What does that mean? It means that God comes first. God should be the most important part of your life. That's true. The second commandment God gave was to not worship idols. What is an idol? An idol is anything you pay more attention to than you do to God. Like a toy? Yeah, can be a toy too. Why did God make this rule? You see, sometimes people forgot about God because they couldn't see God. God wanted the people to remember who had rescued them from Egypt and who was with them every day taking care of them. That's fabulous. It's so important for us to put what's important as first. I can put God first by praying to God when I wake up every day. Or by thanking God first when something good happens. I know it would make God super happy when I do these things. Exactly. We obey God by putting God first. So, did you get your suitcase yet? I sure do. I realized I had everything else but the most important part. Great, so now you have a place to put all your snacks, all your clothes, and your toys. For sure. I knew you would be the best person to call and ask. By the way, where are you going? I'm going to Niagara Falls. Whoa! I always wanted to go there. Bye, Callie. Friends, on this road trip, guess who's coming with me? Guess. You! I'm taking my crazy, fun, amazing friends on my road trip with me. Catch you next time. I gotta pack quickly and get out of here. Yes, you guys are doing great praising our God. Good job, everyone. Good job. Thumbs up. Okay, before we start our message, we are going to read our big idea for today. And our Kenny will help us to read our Bible verse for today. So let us all read our big idea and our Bible verse together. We obey God by putting God first. You shall have no other God before me. You shall not make for yourself an image in the form of anything in heaven, above or on the earth beneath or in the waters below. Exodus chapter 20, verse 3 to 4. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Kenny. 
So last month, we've been learning about a theme called help, where God helped the Israelites to be saved from Egypt. And last week, we learned that Israelites were walking and walking, walking in the desert to go to the promised land where God has promised. And it was a long, long journey, just like a road trip. And in that road trip, God gave the Israelites the Ten Commandments. So this month, October, we are starting a new theme called the Road Trip, where we will discover about the Ten Commandments that God has gave to the Israelites and to us. So before we start, let us read our big idea for today. We obey God by putting God first. Amen. So in this Bible story where all the Israelites were having a road trip, walking and walking to go to the promised land, God calls Moses up to the mountain, to the mountain called Mountain Sinai. And at there, God gives Moses the Ten Commandments. And commandments are like rules. Rules that God wants us to live by. And what kind of rules do we need to follow when we're inside the car, when we're driving the car? We need to put on the seat belts and when it's red light, what do we do? Stop! When it's green light, what do we do? We go! Yes, rules, even though we might not understand everything, rules are there to protect us. And it's same for God. We might not understand everything, all the rules that God gave to us, but God has gave those rules to protect us and keep us safe. So through this month, we're gonna learn about these 10 commandments and we need to believe that these 10 commandments will keep us safe. Amen? And today we are just going to learn about first and second commandment that God gave to us. Let us read our Bible verse one more time. Okay? You shall have no other God before me. You shall not make for yourself an image in the form of anything in heaven, above or on the earth beneath or in the waters below. Exodus chapter 20, verse 3 to 4. Amen. Amen. The first commandment that God gave to Moses was to not have other gods before our one true God. This means to put our God first. Let's say, put God first. And second commandment that God gave was, do not worship idols. Idols are anything that we pay more attention than God. Anything we love more than God is idols. So the first commandment is putting God first. And second commandment is worship only God. And there are many things that we put first and we worship, we love more than God. It might be games for someone, it might be watching YouTube or TV, or it might be family, or it might be friends, it might be toys. There are many things that we love. And it's okay to love them. It's okay to love playing games. It's okay to love your friends. And there is nothing wrong to enjoy these fun, special things that you love. But if we put games first than God, and if we love games more than God, 
then games will become our idols. They will bother us from loving God and doing what God wants us to do. So guys, let us put God first every day in our life. This means no one or nothing should be more important than God. Let God be the most important in your life and love your God the most. Amen? So today, let us remember our first and second commandment. First, put God first. And second, worship only God. Let us say, repeat after me. First, put God first. Second, worship only God. Amen. Good job. We obey God by putting God first. Amen. Let us pray together at this time. Dear God, you loved us so much. You gave us the Ten Commandments to protect us and to bless us. Let us remember what we have learned today and let us put you, God, first and let us worship only you, God, in everyday life. Thank you. I pray everything in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey guys, it's our time to give our offerings to God. So prepare your offerings in a good envelope. Write your name, write your prayer request, and give it to God when you can come to church. So at this time, we're gonna sing 좋으신 하나님 and prepare our offerings to God. Let us pray for our friend. 기도 소원. Dear God, thank you so much. We give our offerings to you, God. Use this offering for your kingdom and your glory and for your will. And bless our hands who gave our offerings to you. Let us love you more and let us give more to you. And let us follow you. I pray everything in Jesus' name. Amen. Hi, Sarambu friends! Hope you had a great week! And a great sermon today! Alright, well, it's time for... Q&A! Alright, let's start with question number one. one! Okay, how many commandments did God give to the Israelites? Hmm... We'll give you some choices, okay? What are the choices, Felipe teacher? Okay, so A, Ten Commandments, or B, One Hundred Commandments. Wow, that's it's a lot a, of commandments. It's a lot of it. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? We'll give you some time to think about it, and we'll get right back. Okay, everyone, were you guys able to get the answer? Yeah? I was. Okay, let's, let's hear the, our Sarambu friends say the answer first. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah? You got it. Hmm. Okay, Grace Teacher, what do you think it is? I think 
It's a hundred. It's not a hundred. It's ten commandments. Oh, ten commandments. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So let's move on <laughs> to question number two. Okay, question number two. What does the first commandment out of the Ten Commandments tell us? So out of all the Ten Commandments, what's the first commandment that God gave us? Hmm. Do you know, Felipe teacher? Do you need some time to think about it? I think I might need some time. And maybe you need some help from our friends, right? I think I might have. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's think about it. And you guys can uh, share with your family or parents and get back to us. All right. All right. I hope you guys uh, share with your parents. And I think Felipe teacher needs a little bit of help. I do. Yeah. I really do. Can you guys help me? Yeah? Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah? Really? Okay. Got what did it. they say? So, they were telling me that yeah. the first commandment tell us to put God first. Oh, that's what we have to do. That's the first commandment God gave us. Yeah, they're so smart. They they really are. I couldn't think of it. Thank you so much. Good job. All right, then let's move on to question number three. three. Last question, guys. Okay, everyone, are you guys ready? What is one way you can put God first this week? Do you know what you can do this week? Yeah. What can you do, Philippi teacher? For me, it'll be reading the Bible. That's a good way to put God first. Yeah. I think for me, I'm going to pray as soon as I wake up in the morning. Oh. Start my day off with the Lord. That's a great idea too. Yeah. Well, share with your parents what you, what you can do to put God first this week. And... We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Our memory verse comes from Book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 27. We're going to use our emotions to memorize this verse. Are you guys ready? Awesome. Follow after me. It goes, He answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind and love your neighbors as yourself. Book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 27. Amen. Hello, Sarangbu. It's been a while. Okay, here's an announcement for October. The first one is we have a, a new Wednesday and Friday service. It's called Lovely Gems with lots of fun, crafts, and skates, and games. Come and join the fun way to uh, worship at JCJC Education YouTube channel. Don't miss out. 
And the second one, after the announcement, you will have question of the week. I hope everybody participate to earn a chance to win a prize. And lastly, we have an October birthday. October birthday is Shimin Sub Teacher. Say happy birthday, Shimin Sub Teacher. So this is it for you know this week of announcement. I hope you guys doing well. Have a great, great week. And uh, we're going to see you until next time. God bless you. I love you guys. Bye-bye. Question of the week. Yay! All right, pass the hand out. What is the question of this week? What does the first and second commandment tell us? So what is it? Oh, I know. The first commandment is don't eat too much. No, no, it's <laughs> do your homework. Do oh. your homework? What about second commandment? Second commandment. Second commandment. Worship your games. Oh. Blue stars. Worship your games? How about you? What do you think, Pastor Cho? Maybe. Maybe real? Maybe? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Write down your answers or draw your answers and send it to your pastors by today. Yes. Okay, so see you next week. Bye! Bye. So the two rules we talk about in our Bible story today are two rules that we should not forget. To put God first and to worship only God. Because we obey God by putting God first. Have fun doing our craft today and see you next week. Bye-bye! Temptation